Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to set up and install a D-Link DIR L1900 in extender mode using the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Before we begin, ensure you know the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password for the network you want to extend. In the box, you should have received a router, power adapter, ethernet cable, quick install guide, and a quick install card. For this setup, I will be using an Android phone. However, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the steps will be similar. In order to set up the unit, you'll need to download the D-Link Wi-Fi app from the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the app from the App Store. Launch the Google Play Store on your device, search for D-Link Wi-Fi, and install the app. To begin the setup, launch the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Tap Install New Device. Tap on Scan the QR code and scan the code that is on the bottom of the router or on the Quick Install card. The DIR L1900 supports router mode and extender mode. By default, router mode is selected. Swipe to the left and tap Select under Extender. During configuration, I would recommend that you bring the unit in the same room as the router that you're trying to extend the signal for. Once the setup is complete, then you can move the extender to the desired location. Tap Next. Plug in the DIR L1900 and tap Next. While the unit is booting up, the LED on the front will be solid red. It will start flashing orange once it's ready for setup. If the LED on the front of the unit does not turn on at all, check the power button on the back of the device and make sure it is in the on position. Once the LED on the unit starts to blink orange, tap next. If you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the default signal of the unit. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the network. The device is rebooting and switching to extender mode. You may notice the LED turn solid red and turn back to flashing orange. Here you will see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Tap on the Wi-Fi network you want to extend. In this example, my Wi-Fi network is called Home. If you don't see your Wi-Fi network listed, tap the refresh button on the top right or scroll up to see more networks. Tap Next. You will now be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi password for the network you just selected. This is the Wi-Fi password for the network you're trying to extend. Tap Next. You will need to configure admin password for your unit. This password is required when you want to make changes to your configuration. This is not your Wi-Fi password. Tap Next. To ensure your device has the latest updates, Tap on Keep My Device Up To Date Automatically. When a software update is available, it will be automatically installed on your device without the need of manually updating it. Tap Next. Here you will see a summary of the changes you have made. I would recommend making a note of this information for future use. Tap Save. The device is applying your settings and rebooting. The LED on the unit should turn solid white. If the unit remains flashing orange, this means that the unit was unable to connect to your network you're trying to extend. The most common reason for this is an incorrect Wi-Fi password. You will need to start the setup process again. To do so, press the reset button on the bottom of the unit for one to two seconds. The status LED will turn red and the device will be reset to factory default. Tap on X at the top right to start the setup process again. If the LED is white, tap Next. Now you can unplug the device and move it to your desired location. Tap Next. For best performance, plug the DIR L1900 approximately halfway between the router and the area that you're trying to extend the signal. Tap Next. 
the LED should turn solid white. If the LED does not turn solid white, please move the unit closer to the router. Tap Next. You have successfully set up the DIR L1900 in extender mode. Tap Finish. The setup is now complete. You can now manage your DIR L1900 using the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Thank you for watching. For more videos and other helpful resources on how to get the most out of your D-Link device, please visit support.dlink.ca or support.dlink.com.